Hello guys, I'm going to tell you this video because you have problem on lead code. Integer to Roman. So given the integer, we have to convert into Roman value. So in the previous video, we had seen uh, uh, where we convert Roman to integer. I'll mention the link of that video in the description box. Please do check it out. So in this video, we will be doing the reverse of that. That is integer to Roman. Given an uh, integer value, we have to convert it into a Roman value. So as you know, these are the standard symbols which we have 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000 corresponding to the Roman symbol. And if you want to derive any other uh, integer value or Roman value from this, only we will be deriving it. So if you need to have 4, then it will be 1 and B is used. So all those symbols we will be using, right? So if it is 2, then 2 ones will be used, all such. So what is the approach to solve the problem? So now what we will do is we will have one array called Roman okay and other array let's say value so Roman will store all the Roman symbols and value will store the corresponding in the same order corresponding values of that Roman symbols so if the Roman symbol let's say is M the value first value will be 1000 similarly we store it for D C L X V I. So is it enough if we store all the symbols, Roman and values, corresponding values in the array? No. Why? Because if you see, we have, if you want to from 1, we can generate 2, 3. Because this is represented by 2 i's, this is represented by 3 i's. But when we have to generate the 4, it is nothing but 5 minus 1, 4. We are doing the subtract operation. So in such case, what we have to do is, we will be storing that. 4 here. So we will have 1 and that is represented 1. Then we will store 4. That is represented 4. Next 5. Okay. So 5 is nothing but V symbol. 5. Okay. So after this, similarly for 10 also. From 5, 6, 7, 8. You can do it like 6, 7, 8. But when it comes to 9, it's 10 minus 1, 9. So it will be represented like this. So even that has to be stored because we cannot generate that from this. Okay. So we'll store 9. So 9 is something but this. Then we'll store 10. So when this is stored, again similarly we do for 10 is over 5 done. Then in this case of 50, we can uh, generate all from 10 to 40, everything, uh, 39 we can generate. But when it comes to 40, that is 50 minus 10, we will be doing this. So, even that has to be stored. So, 40 will also be stored. X50 also stored. Similarly for 100 also. 100, we store 90 because that is subtraction. 100 minus 10. Then we store 100. So again for 500 what you do? 500 minus 100 that is 400 you have to store. So 400 you will be storing and then you will be storing 500. After that 1000 what you do? 1000 minus 100 you do. So that is nothing but 900 you will be storing. And 1000. Very modest. Okay this has to be inserted over. So these integer values with the corresponding Roman symbols we have to store it in the array. So once we store this in the array, now let's say they are given 1994. We'll take this example. Okay. Let me just erase this. Okay. So now we have a number 1994. We need to generate the Roman symbol, Roman value for this. We have the integer value. How do we generate? We first look into the biggest number. Okay. So give a number, let the array, uh, by, uh, what the pointer will be pointing to 1000 initially. We iterate over this value array. So pointer is pointing to 1000 initially. Check whether the given number, this is a number, whether the given number is greater than or equal to value of i. Is it? So 1994, is it greater than 1000? Yes, it is. So 1000 will come in this one. So what you have to do, let's have a, uh, for storing the result, and we'll have a string called result and that is empty. So result will be plus equals to 
we have value of i now we want to get the roman value how do you get there is nothing but roman of i so for the value of 1000 you get the corresponding roman symbol that is roman of i so you have value of i when well, first you check whether the number is greater than or equal to value of i is 1994 greater than or equal to value of i yes it is so what you have to do so we have to get the corresponding roman symbol of that that is nothing but roman of i so result will be added with roman of i so result will contain if uh, result will contain m now it is represented by m so once you, you are done with this now you have to subtract this value from the number right so number equals to number minus value of i so if you subtract 1000 from this it will be 994 994 so with the given number 994 again we have to check so this should be while loop actually whether the given number is greater than or equal to value is it no if in case if instead of uh, 1994 let it be 2994 then value is greater than or equal to value of i yes it is so if we subtract 1000 from this it will be 1994 now Now again, we check whether the value greater than or equal to value of i, number greater than or equal to value of i. Yes, it is. So result plus equal to roman of i. One more m will be added. Now again, subtract thousand from this. That will give you nine ninety four. Okay. Why did you get to know why I am taking while loop? Because there may be multiple occurrence of thousand. I mean, so many thousands equal to given number. So that is because that is the greatest number. Now we have. So once you get to know this, now nine ninety four is not greater than or equal to thousand. So now move the pointer ahead. So now the pointer will be pointing to this nine hundred. Okay, sorry, nine hundred. We have it over here. So now pointer will be pointing to nine hundred. Now again check whether the given number nine ninety four is greater than equal to nine hundred. Yes, it is. So that means result plus equal to roman of i. That is nine hundred. How is it represented? So that is thousand minus hundred nine hundred. So it is nothing but Thousand is represented by m, hundred is represented by c, so it will be cm. So cm will be added to the result because we have stored it right because it will be cm over here. Okay. So next you subtract nine hundred from the given number. So nine hundred if you subtract, so that will give you ninety four now. Okay. So again check whether ninety four is greater than nine hundred. No. So now you move the pointer to. 500. Again, check whether 94 is greater than 500. No, move the pointer to 400. It's not greater. It's not greater than 100. Yeah, 94 is not greater than 100. Next, move the pointer to 90. Now it is greater than 90, right? 94 is greater than 90. Now again, result plus equal to roman of 90. How do you represent 90? That is 100 minus 10. So x c. X c. That will be added to the resultant. So again, subtract 90 from the Answer that will give you four. Now four is greater than ninety four. No, it is not. So move pointer, move pointer. It is not not greater than because we have four, right? So it will be till yeah this position. It is equal to four now. So in this case, result plus equal to roman of i. How do you represent four? Pi minus one. So append that also. Now four minus four will be zero. Is number greater than equal to value of i? No. You move to the last value and the loop will be. So this is the Roman symbol. How we have got. So I'll just show how do we. Okay, these are the Roman value, Roman values, and these are the integer values. So as I said, thousand, nine hundred, five hundred, four hundred, all these and corresponding Roman values. So how do we get this five? Four minus uh, five minus okay, five. We have four. How do we get it? Four, five minus one. For nine, ten minus one. Forty, fifty minus ten. 90. So all these values, since we are subtracting it, there are the special cases which we need to have in the array. Everything else you can derive from this itself. All the addition operations you can do, but if you want to do subtract, then you have to give that as an input. And yeah, with this, you compare the example M C M X C I V. M C M X C I V because extra M is because I initially told it's two nine nine four. If it is one nine nine four, this M would not be there. So then the answer is correct. This is how we generate the uh, Roman symbol for the given integer value. So each you iterate over the each values in the array, then you check whether it is possible to get it in the Roman symbol or not. So 
we'll have a string result empty empty string it is now each value have to write it right so we write it over the all the values first we have to check whether the given number is greater than or equal to values of i if so then you have to take the corresponding roman value so plus equals to roman of i then number should be decremented right num minus equals to values of i this is nothing but a equal to a minus b num equal to num minus values of i what we do a minus equals to b in that format shortcut format we have written so at last we need to return the result yes And for Java also, uh, same logic. So declare the array, initialize it. Then yeah, here since in Java we cannot modify the string like as such, so we use the string builder object whenever we want to operate with the strings. So we create a string builder, and at last that string builder object is converted to new string and written as answer. We shall submit this. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.